So I have already created this texture in Photoshop and imported into my project. Here is the preview. So the system that I want to implement is similar to the system I implemented a couple years ago in the open world series. So here you can see a demonstration. See when the enemies see me this uh, bar the not bar this direction indicator fills up as the enemy see me and when I am detected it blinks in red. So this is uh, I am going to implement kind of the same system maybe with some improvements into the third person shooter right first let's work on the widget mm -hmm. this should be a separate widget because we have to dynamically add and remove it from the viewport as multiple enemies start detecting the player so under use of widget select WDG detection indicate right let me open it okay so how do we implement this first uh, we don't have anything here let me add a canvas panel and let's try right so yeah let's try with the progress bar mm. place it like this let's anchor it to the middle uh, as the pivot I'll set point five and point five maybe and let's add an offset like minus 200 this way and under the style as the background image let's try the detection image this one okay it looks a bit odd not sure why ah, it has some it has to have something to do with the draw as Oh wait, oh sorry, this is not background image, draw as so instead of box let's try image, yeah. Mm -hmm. 30, that seems, so uh, maybe 20, yeah 20 seems okay. So how do we fill this? Uh, for that initially this should be tra semi transparent so point 2 okay and when we fill it fill image okay let's see where is oh here oh as the fill image also let's use the same detection mm. but if I fill it now let's see how it looks all right okay it's starting to work this also should be rendered as an image right it's, it's filling from left to right but I need to fill it from top to bottom. Great. See, it is working. And the color should not be blue. Fill image. 
attached tent why is it blue ah right and appearance this fill color this should be white now yeah it's white and after it's filled it should become red but that's something i had to do dynamically in the code through the code uh, uh, so how do we rotate this around the center of the screen so that when let's say if the enemy is maybe this side of the screen compared to the player we should show the indicator here so for that let me make this half filled so that I can easily see that so now let's fully filled it uh, so for that here we have this angle uh, and if I select the canvas panel change the angle you can see it rotates completely so so that's fine but I'm not sure if that has any performance implications so let me try to wrap this with the border sorry let me undo that and also it is possible to directly rotate this one select the icon and let me rename this detection meter <laughs> under transform if I rotate it you see it's rotating itself around itself but if I add a pivot let's say 10 and rotate you see it's rotating around it like this which I guess uh, it's better to do it this way rather than rotate in the whole canvas but since this one is the only element in the canvas maybe it's not a problem but I don't I'm not hundred percent sure so better to rotate this way right now uh, let me set the field percentage back to zero uh, no leave it at one we need an animation to blink this so Let's add an animation, get the animation window. This uh, angle, keep it at zero. Select the color. Uh, let's set the fill color to red. And add the keyframe. Oh. We need to create an animation. Blink. The keyframe. Then point two. Add another keyframe. Add another keyframe. So if I play, can I loop this? Yeah, if I play this in a loop, we should get the blinking effect. Like this. So, right. So, okay. Now let me deselect the animation and set the color back white oh sorry 
Does the color change when I select animation? Yeah. Great. That's exactly the way I want it. Okay. Now let's set the necessary events. Um, stem event. Update fill. Detection meter. Set percent. So this will allow us to set the percentage. So let me rename this percent. That's much clear. And another function of update angle. Similarly, get the detection meter, set angle, set render transform angle. Right. And then we need the function to start blinking. So when the when we are fully detected, it should blink. So blink toggle blink play animation and it should loop. When I set zero, it loops indefinitely. Okay. All right. That's all I need for now for the widget. So in the next episode, let's see how to integrate this into the existing AI system and make it work. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.